Welcome to the show Allowed to Talk. And I'm outside in my backyard here. And the high temperature is 31 degrees Fahrenheit. One degree below freezing. We didn't have snow to yesterday or today. As you can see, there's still leaves all over. And if we would have, we want to rake all these leaves up tomorrow. It would be terrible to rake up wet leaves. And the reason we want to rake our leaves tomorrow is because we want to take our vehicle that was hit in the rear end by someone about two weeks ago and um, put the camper on it and see if it's okay to use. They say it's fine, but I like to test it out and check if the uh, the hitch is going to work for the camper, like drive it 10 miles before we go driving it a 10 hour drive from our house to Alabama. So we're going to hook up the camper tomorrow and take it for out on the highway for a little bit, see if the the uh, hitch is going to be okay on our vehicle. And I want you to see how close I live to the U-Haul place where we're going to rent a U-Haul in December, one month from now. Right there it is, the U-Haul place. I can walk there if I want to. But, uh, oh, I do walk past it a lot when I'm taking a walk, so. The camera is so cold, it doesn't want to focus and zoom in very well right now, but you get the idea. And this is the back fence where my dog sees cats out back here all the time. Okay, back to the leaves. It's November, I think, 16th today. It's less than a week to Thanksgiving, when we're going to drive on Thanksgiving Day. Hopefully the traffic will be a lot less then, because the day before Thanksgiving is one of the busiest travel days. And Sunday after Thanksgiving, so we're not coming back till the next Wednesday, I think, back here to this area. What do you see, Abby? Are you looking for Yahudi the kitty? You don't like him. Did you see Chewbacca lately? Oh, you caught Chewbacca. It's a squirrel. Chewbacca. And you scared him. You shook him around, but you left him go then. After Dad yelled, drop the squirrel. And you dropped it, and it ran. It was like stunned when you got it. It came right under the fence, and you were so quick. You're the squirrel hunter. The squirrel hunter. <laughs> you looking for a squirrel or a cat? You're not sure. Look back to that fence. Oh, this here, this is a foundation, I think, that used to be a chicken house or a chicken coop or maybe a small shed. I don't know. It used to have a hole with a groundhog that would come up, but... He left a couple years back and didn't see him ever for three years now. Probably around three years. So what's up? You looking for Chewbacca? You hate him, that squirrel. He got away. How about Yahudi? Ooh, you don't like cats. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> anyway, the leaves. Thank goodness they're dry. We didn't get a... We had rain about a week ago, but it seems like it's dried up. Maybe not quite. But these leaves, we got to rake them up. And they've been down for a long time. We were going to wait till after Thanksgiving when we got back. But since we were rear-ended and we have to see how the hitch is going to work, we're going to go ahead and rake them up tomorrow morning. And take them out to the curb so they can be picked up by the township, the leaves. Oh, our puppy heard the backfiring. We live close to a pretty busy highway that goes to the high school here. I mean, we're not on the busy street, but it's right to the west of us. And a lot of traffic going to the high school and up to the other businesses up there. And she heard the backfiring. And she's like a little nervous about it. Hey, what's up, pup? 
Did you hear that backfiring? Come on back out. Come on. We're talking about raking the leaf. Come on down. Come on, Abby, come. Come on. Let's do it. Let's take a walk. Come with me. Gonna take a sentimental journey. Gonna walk around this yard. Gonna take a sentimental journey. When you hear backfiring, it's really hard. I tell you, you're gonna be all right, so come on down here. I love you, and you know I'll protect you through it all. Gonna take a sentimental journey. Gonna take a walk around this yard. Gonna take a sentimental journey. Some days it is really hard. Maybe if I keep walking out back here, she'll follow me. Because you know what? I know she has to do her business today. <laughs> she changed her mind again. Come on, let's take a walk. There she comes. That's my girl. She still has that puppiness and digs sometimes. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love this dog, but I don't like a lot of the stuff she ends up doing as a puppy. The puppiness. Woo! But remember, too, she dug up over here, running back and forth. Remember, too, that if you get a puppy for Christmas or her birthday or anything, that it's at least a 15-year commitment to have a puppy and train it right. And no dog is perfect if you're lucky enough to get one that does everything right. Well, God bless you. You are special. Ain't that special, sweetie? So anyway, back to the leaves again. I always get distracted. We're going to rake them tomorrow. It's not going to be easy. Oh, he has a leaf blower now, too. Oh, man, we used to not have one up in Pennsylvania. And we had like 12 trees on that acre that we had in... Mount Holly Springs, which is near uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I loved having that much land and everything, an acre. This is a quarter acre here. It's plenty. And as we get older, we don't want any land. Just want to camp, go traveling, and live with our daughter. She has a room for us and a nice big bathroom, an ensuite bathroom. And it'll be nice. So raking the leaves, that's going to be a big job. We can do it. And just keep dancing. That's all I have to say right now for the rest of the show. Just keep dancing. I got to get my dog down here to take a poo-poo. Just keep dancing.